100 days before the 2022 midterm elections, the difference between America's two major political parties and what they want for the future of this country couldn't be more stark. This week, the former president and heir apparent to the Republican presidential nomination, Donald Trump, teed off at his Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey, for the Live Golf Pro-Am event, kicking off the league's big tournament this weekend. Now, the Live Tour is a new venture financed by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. It's all part of a campaign by the Saudi government to refresh the kingdom's image in the eyes of the world. You see, they want you to think of your favorite golf players when you think of Saudi Arabia, not their long list of human rights abuses, including the murder of the Washington Post, Jamal Khashoggi. Now, Trump took a hands-on role in that image rehab uh, by hosting the event at his property, just miles away from Ground Zero. And he had this to say in his defense. Well, nobody's gotten to the bottom of 9-11, unfortunately, and they should have. Now, family members of those who died on 9-11, well, they rejected Trump's version of history. To see a former president two days ago claim that he doesn't know about our outrage and he doesn't know who was behind 9-11, that is the worst feeling that these family members can get when we're not even getting through to a former president. That is the worst, worst form of greed and worst form of evil. All right, so the GOP's battle here is with truth and reality, and it extends far beyond Donald Trump. As New York Times Magazine's Charles Homans notes, election lies and conspiracy theories, they have become the central thrust of modern American conservatism. Homans writes that the whole Trump punched in American democracy out of sheer self-interest had allowed his followers to glimpse a vision of the country restored to its divinely ordained promise that lay beyond that democracy, but also beyond him. Just take the re-election campaign of Arizona Republican House Speaker Rusty Bowers, who's facing an election-denying challenger in Tuesday's primary. Now, you might remember Bowers from his January 6th committee testimony when he talked about being the target of an extensive Trump-led pressure campaign. This came after he refused to let the Arizona state legislator send fake electors to Congress. Well, this week on NBC's Vaughn Hilliard asked Bowers why, come Tuesday, he may lose re-election. Probably because I stood up. And when they asked me to tell the truth, I told the truth. And I did break a taboo, and it's kind of a cultic thing, you know, that you have to be in with the cult. And Bowers is right. That's what the GOP has become. It is a cult of conspiracy-pushing liars. So with 100 days to go, voters across the country have a choice to make. And it is not just as simple as Democrats versus Republicans. No, November's election will be a choice between the truth and conspiracy and the future of our democracy.